Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Atari Vault. We're going to be playing combat today. That's right, just regular old combat. Looks like next up is combat too, who knew? Alright, so... Oh, I just jumped in. Oh, I kind of vaguely remember this game. Tink guided missiles, open playfield. If you have guided missiles, you're pretty much a guaranteed hit. Am I crazy? Guided missiles, easy maze. I don't know if you guys used to play Bolo... Um, Bolo was a popular game in the 1990s, usually played over a local area network because internet wasn't really a big thing there. Internet at the time was basically just text web pages and flashing text at that. Um, kind of sort of reminds me of this, but it'd be also really funny if this is only a two-player game and so that the computer just doesn't get to play. That'd be hilarious. Straight missiles, hard maze. See, that seems like that would be appropriate. Tank pong, any shot kills. Interesting. Okay, let's play that one. I have no idea what that means. Okay, so I guess I just fired there. Um, oh, turning is creepy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a two-player game only. So we'll just see how well this works. It's kind of weird it's a two-player game only, but I guess it's complicated enough. They couldn't necessarily guarantee that the um, the computer would be able to actually do anything. Okay, also, I can't hit worse shit. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be like some trick shots you can do here. Okay, that's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. There you go. Okay, then I just shoot you. No? Okay, I have to be able to actually hit something. Alright, so that's fun and all, but it's kind of bullshit the computer can't play. Um, and I think that's true for any of these. Bounce shot kills, easy maze. I mean, that's not a maze, but okay. Um, also, that didn't hit him. Oh, because bounce shots only. Oh, this re little, really, really rewards, like, some super critical shots here. Because the bounces only happen... And you only get a certain number of bounces before it doesn't work anymore. It'd be hilarious if you get killed by your own shots. Yeah, but only bounce shots kill. Oh, somehow that got him. And then he got pushed to the other side. That's crazy talk. Okay, but yeah, you do like that kind of bounce. That totally worked. Okay, I can see some good play here. If, um... And the fact you can move and shoot is really good. Unfortunately, the computer not being able to play means we won't get trounced, which I don't think makes for some entertaining gameplay, unfortunately. I Also, you can't, you can't fire more than one shot at a time, in case you're wondering. Can't happen. Um, all right, so that's not going to make for some entertaining gameplay at all. Invisible tank... Um, <laughs> okay, just because I'm curious. Okay, that's hilarious. Um, so I don't know where I am. You're only visible when you're firing. The guided missiles could maybe make that a little easier. So you definitely don't want to fire too often, otherwise you're visible. That's interesting. I kind of like that mode. It's kind of crazy. I can kind of see it. All right. An invisible tank is ridiculous, though. Biplanes. Guided missiles. Clouds versus one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so I'm apparently yellow here. Oh, and down. Apparently, apparently the flight controls are inverted. Which is weird. Oh, and I can just pass right through them, so you can't crash into them. That's good to know. But again, um, the computer is not really playing, and I'm a bad shot, so we may never see a victory here. I like the loop to loops though. That's actually pretty impressive for the time. Oh, right behind you. That's easy enough. All right. And then it's just a matter of all right. So he just stays on the same trajectory because the computer doesn't play. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, stray missiles, repeating shots. No clouds. No clouds. I don't know. Being able to hide in clouds is like a valid tactic, so I don't know why you would get rid of clouds. 
What versus three, huh? And then jets. I mean, isn't that the same game as planes? I don't know. That seems weird. Guided missiles, clouds, two versus two. Okay, and then we're back to this. All right. Well, this is going to be one of those unique situations where I'm going to say no because the computer can't play against us. So we're actually going to jump to the next game, um, which is Combat 2. And hopefully the computer can play against us. Um, we will find out. Random trees, huh? Okay. Combat 2. There you go. You actually spread it out. Very good. Um, so brick walls. Oh, this is definitely more like Bolo. Players place trees. You actually get to create your own map? Way to go. Way to go, Atari. That's actually pretty cool. Being able to place your own stuff. Okay, so we go in. Oh, again, the computer can't play. Oh, big miss here, Atari. Um, and it turns out the river just slows you down. Okay, I can see this being a good two-player game, though. Oh, apparently I stay slowed. Oh, there we go. All right, can I kill him in his base? Oh, you take out the bricks. So that definitely... Um, yeah, that that's an interesting idea. And he takes multiple hits to kill? Yeah, he does. And you can back up. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that does really remind me of Bolo. Um, but that isn't going to work for me because the computer can't play. There's no nothing to compare against. But if you have a friend to play with, that actually totally seems like a good, good thing to do and could be a lot of fun. All right. Cool. I mean, not good for us right now because we're only playing single player, but interesting idea. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into Crystal Castles, though. I don't know if you guys remember Crystal Castles when we did this for the arcade. Um... But it's probably the same thing. Basically, you go around and you collect stuff. You try to avoid the bad guys. Um, the bear looks freaky as all hell, though. Okay, we can still jump. Um, okay, so we're now collecting the blue lines. Gotcha. Alright. They're a little bit harder to collect than the spheres or the crystals were. Oh, we are in a bad spot. I guess I could have jumped. Probably could have jumped there. Alright. We can't fall off any of the edges, so no worries there. Yeah, the lines are definitely harder to collect here. Um, okay, I can still jump, right? Yes, I can. Jump! Yeah, there you go. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread bear. Kind of what it looks like. It's a little bit like gingerbread. You guys are still going to eat the crystals, though, right? You guys still eat crystals? Oh! Got eaten alive. Um, they apparently don't eat crystals. I would guess... Oh, man. I thought I could get past them there, but that's... The hit detection was not with me. Alright, we're gonna jump over him. Yeah, there we go. And then collect the last crystal. There you go. Okay. And then we get all the trees. Remember the trees? Trees are bad. Um, There's honey there. I'm guessing the honey gives me invincibility. Oh, and there's letter. Um, I'd love to be able to get the invincibility, but I don't know if you can jump over the trees. Can you jump over the trees? I mean, obviously we're gonna start from the beginning here. So it's going to be a little while till we find out whether or not we can jump over trees. Collecting these little lines is super tricky. And I get so distracted by it that I get eaten by a beast soon thereafter. Okay, now that I look at it, he looks more and more like a bear. It's just, it took me a while to get used to the pixel art. But yeah, now that I can see it, I can see it. I mean, he looks more like a gingerbread man, to be honest. But um, yeah, I can totally see bear. I can see where they're going for bear here. Okay, grab that one. Then we'll go all the way around and grab the last couple of crystals. Ha! Only killed me once. Okay, now these tree guys are going to be annoying. Can we jump over them? They're also super fast. We can totally jump over them. Oh, and that makes them freak out. Oh, there's, um, that's right, the whirlwind. Totally forgot about the whirlwind. Oh, I jumped too soon and in the wrong direction. Alright, that's okay. We can go down this way. Jump over this guy. Grab the honey pot. Grab the honey pot. Nope. Did not grab the honey pot. Getting that ladder is going to be super tricky. Oh, I did it though. No, I didn't get the honey though. Didn't get the honey. Okay, managed to sneak right by that guy. I don't think that should have been allowed. 
You probably should have gotten me for that one. The trees being on top of each other there are kind of weird. Oh, one of the trees did grab the, the crystal. They can do that. Is choose not to do it occasionally. Oh, honey, honey, I want the honey. Okay, the hate detection on this, really freaking tricky. Like, really tricky. Okay, go grab the honey. No, the honey's not, not grabbing me. I can't grab the honey. I cannot do it. Can you do it without grabbing the honey? Can you do this game? We have to start from the beginning every time, which is going to be annoying. But you remember, this is one of the first games, even the first arcade games, like actual distinct different levels. Um, so, I mean, at the time it was pretty much, well, of course you start over. Why would you want, why would you not want to start over? You always have to start over. There's no save progress because that would be silly. We have, you know, only 20k memory here. We can't go crazy with saves. Oh, I still have one crystal left over there. There we go. Got it. I think we died once there. We're gonna die like seven times this one until we get used to it. I mean, I used to go up and down the, the lanes here. I guess that doesn't. That only works until it doesn't. Obviously. Okay, the whirlwind is gonna be a problem. Let's be honest. Okay, good. Freak out the whirlwind. Reap the whirlwind? No, just freak it out. Grab the honey. Yeah. What? The honey doesn't make you invulnerable? Excuse me? Have you played the arcade game? Excuse me? I mean, I hate to be a purist, but come on. Come on. So then, it's just a matter of grabbing all the crystals then, huh? Because then, the honey is purely just an extra thousand points. Which is, you know, decent amount, let's be honest. But, not as bad? Okay, so he can't get to me because he's in a corner. I can jump over him. Now, these three trees are going to be a problem, except they're not. Ha! Made third level, boy. Gotta admit, the different levels is actually kind of impressive. I mean, it's not, like, it's quite the arcade level. The arcade had some pretty impressive graphics for the time, and I don't think I can actually jump over any of these guys now. Might be able to jump over the skeleton, maybe? Maybe? I mean, just distracting these guys, pulling them into a different spot until... Oh, I can't go down the ladder? What? What? I can't go down the ladder. I can't... <laughs> what? Excuse me, how am I supposed to... There's only two buttons on the freaking controller. Actually, one button on the controller. Um, I can't go down the... I can't go down the ladder. That's got to be... I've got to be doing something wrong, right? Oh, it's not a ladder. It's a freaking place for an elevator. I thought it was a ladder. Okay, well, I just freaked out the cactus, and now we just go. All right, I think we get another life at 10,000 points. Oh, the wizard hat. Yeah, you take the wizard hat, and you destroy the witch. That's how you do that. All right, so the witch is no longer a threat. Now, the whirlwind, whirlwind's a threat. But it went to the wrong place, and that's its own fault. All right, no worries. We can grab the honey for an extra thou. Uh, we did not get an extra life. So I thought it was a 10k, but I guess it's not. All right, if anything, this is a lot easier than the arcade version. Which, don't get me wrong, I appreciate. I still need to fake out these guys. Consider them faked. Or juked. And then we're back to the first one again. Oh no, this is not the first one again. Okay. Um, I can't take out anything but the witch with this hat, I think. So that doesn't help me at all. So then I did I, did I screw myself there? Is the witch going to show up later and I'm totally going to get hosed? Could happen. Jump over the tree. Jump over the tree again. I just It's so hard to grab these crystals. They're only a single pixel wide. Well, not wide. Length? I don't know. Um, height? Oh, eaten by a tree. That's so embarrassing. I was supposed to be at the top of the food chain. All right. Come down here. Grab the crystal. That time worked. No, I jumped. I swear I pressed the button. I swear it. On um, somebody's life. I don't know. Not mine. That's the important part. That it not be my life. So these guys will eat crystals, but they're slow about it. So I'm not too worried about that. But, um, all right. 
Get me on the... No, that's not on the elevator. Get me on the elevator. There we go. Okay, the tree's gonna chase me. That is not helpful. Oh no, I'm stuck. Either I was gonna be eaten by the whirlwind or the tree. I chose to be eaten by the tree. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Okay, you can start on different levels. How far does this go up? Goes up to level 8. You wanna do level 8? Let's try level 8. Probably pretty nuts. Lots of bad guys. Um, a bouncing hat. I wanna go take out the ghost. Take out the ghost. No. I timed that wrong to be able to take out the ghost. What are we gonna do about the ghost? Oh, uh, well, what do you do normally do about a ghost? You usually just die, right? Um, nope, just died, okay. I think the wizard hat's just gone forever. So that's definitely a thing that's gonna happen. Um, also waiting for the elevators. I'm just gonna eat by a ghost if I wait there too long. We just let these guys eat the rest of the crystals for us and then we just go. Uh, unfortunately, that's not gonna score as many points. But it does technically fulfill the objective. Uh, we need to get down here and then go... Oh, not like that. Not like that. But yeah, we need to go down to the bottom and then come back up to the middle. That's going to be tricky with these guys trying to eat. I mean, we just wait until... Nope, nope, can't wait. Can't wait. Cactuses are just eat us. Um, waiting for the elevators. I mean, the elevators only seem to go one elevator at a time on the level. I notice how they seem to be going like clockwise. Okay, we managed to actually jump over that, but I think no, we just missed it. No, 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 we got it, we got it, we got it. No, nope, and they, they ate the last one. That was not a good score. Um, I mean, this at least makes us invincible. That only kind of works. Oh, jump over the tree, and then eaten by a cactus. Is that our last life? Nope, this is our last life, and eaten immediately. Oh, that's so bad. That's what I get for trying to jump up to level 8, right? Okay, difficulty to switch, not selected. There's hard and easy. Alright, you know what? Let's try level 1 hard. Let's do it! So there's only 4 map types, or maybe 5. I've lost track. 4? There might be 4. But still, I mean, so what makes this hard? Is it these guys eat more crystals and so it's harder to gain points? That would make a de great deal of sense. So the crystals are harder to pick up. Obviously, we killed in one hit anyway. So that's not what makes it hard. Um, I don't know. Nope. Oh, almost got me there. Keyword being almost. Oh. I got the last one just as he was about to touch me. But an almost hit doesn't count as a hit. Okay, so these guys are still trees. I get eaten again. All right. I say it's eaten. It's probably just, um, it's like Pokemon, right? They faint. Oh, I was gonna jump again, but I didn't, I didn't actually hit the button in time, I guess. Wow, okay, I keep heading right for the tree. Don't do that. Don't do that, that's bad. So I think what might make it hard is that they're actually moving faster. Oh, another whirlwind, huh? All right, well, you down at the bottom screen, so I don't care, and then I'm just dead. All right, try it again. Yeah, I think they're moving a little bit faster. I think that's what it is. And I think we're moving the same speed. So definitely that would cause the game to be a little bit harder. I can see that. I forget in the arcade version, wasn't there a way to choose... Oh, I jumped in place. That's not going to help. Wasn't there a way to choose how many, um, how many points until the next life or something like that? So they definitely took away some of the options um, in order to make room for, you know, the cartridge. Actually, jumping in place totally worked for me there. Oh, not there, though. Okay, we're still good. We're still good. We've lived. we lived. And now they're all bunched up together. That's only going to last a short while. But that distracted them long enough for us to get to the home. Nope. He ate the last one. That's right. If we don't eat the last one, we get a disappointed sound, huh? I forgot about that. That was true in the arcade version. Makes sense it's true here. I mean, there's only so much you can do with mini sound, but they did a pretty decent job of this game, actually. It's kind of impressive they did what they did with this. I mean, Crystal Caverns is one of the more advanced arcade games. They actually made it work for the Atari. I mean, there's a lot of... It doesn't have quite as many levels. Uh, level designs, at least. The level designs can't go as far as the arcade ones. 
Um, there was definitely a lot more color in the arcade one, too, but that's a different issue entirely. Um, I mean, obviously, the TVs can punch out a lot of the color, but... Oh, I keep bouncing in place. That's not helpful. But the uh, the Atari can only punch out, like, you know, four colors or maybe even eight on a good day. The trees eat crystals? Trees might eat crystals. I don't think they eat crystals the same way the cactuses do. Oh, man. I knew I, knew I was going to die there. I just knew it. All right, one more game here. Since we jumped ahead two games, which I feel a little silly about. I mean, I like... I remember playing combat as a kid, but I also remember that my sister hated playing it. Um, and so we hardly ever played it. And I, that's assuming assuming that I'm not like filled with false memories here. And I think that's right. Um, I think actually that attitude has pretty much extended to today. My sister hardly ever plays video games. She doesn't see the appeal. And I think it all has to do with, you know, back in that, uh, back in those days when we played the Atari and she, uh, she really didn't like playing combat. And I mean, my dad liked playing the games, but I mean, he was busy, man. He had work, you know? I mean, what's he gonna do? Sit around all day playing video games or actually, you know, enjoy his time off. And you know, he enjoys video games now, so that definitely didn't carry over. But again, those weren't formative years for him. Those were formative years for me. And I really enjoyed playing the video games. Um, I played Adventure a lot, but again, I mean, I'll I've talked about this before, my favorite video game, well, when I was three. My favorite video game was uh, the text editor, just, you know, typing out a bunch of characters and then having them be eaten by the cursor. Am I doing, like, prog progressively worse here? It kind of seems like. Maybe we need to tone the difficulty down because I'm just bad. Play one more time. They haven't got the, the theme song pretty right. I mean, MIDI, uh, MIDI sounds are not easy to do. I mean, you'd think it would be because you only have, like, four notes you can actually play. But, I mean, that's actually a huge limitation for some artists that, you know, they can't work in just one, like, in that kind of simple time frame. It really challenges you to put out some of your best work. And I am impressed with MIDI sounds, as always. Okay, that time we actually did pretty well. Did we even die once there? I don't think we did. Well, we prepared to die a couple times. Though, yeah, so I think... Yeah, I think hard definitely speeds up the... The enemies, which makes sense. That's an easy way to... To make it more difficult without making it... Too difficult for the programmer, because... Putting more enemies on the screen means more AI, which means... The, uh, the program is going to chug... You don't want it to chug, not for a brand new proof of concept console. You know, I mean, Atari basically made it so that, um, well, at least for a little while, made it so that, you know, video games were actually a household thing. Jump over these guys. Oh, I can only jump over one at once? That can't be true. I must have just did the control wrong. Because I could have sworn we jumped over multiple trees at once before. All right, we just got to lure them over. Oh, okay, I thought you were on the other side. That was my bad. Um, grabbing the honey would be great. If I can taunt the tree over here, jump over him. Um, okay, that was not the kind of taunt I wanted. Oh, okay. This is good, though, because now all the trees are on the wrong side of his tree. Okay, that doesn't help me. Nope, now i got to taunt all the trees over to the same side. So, you come over here. Come on, you know you guys wanted to. You know you want to... Over here, guys. Plus the whirlwind. All of you. Over here. Yeah, over here, buddy. Um, that's still only one guy. I can't follow those trees over. Okay, there we go. Rapper no, I was gonna run around the trees. I'm not fast enough. I'm not fast enough. Okay, come over here. Jump over the tree. Jump over here. Jump over the tree. Jump over the... Jump over the tree. The trees traded positions. Can jump over the whirlwind. Um, alright. There we go. No! No, no. Oh, that happens. Anyway, it turns out I'm bad at Crystal Castles. Who knew? But still pretty impressive they managed to port it from the arcade. I am suitably impressed. All right, that'll do it for this episode. We kind of had three games in one, kind of, sort of, maybe. 
If you guys have, uh, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to do the power off off. There we go. Um, yeah, if you guys have a friend to play Combat and Combat 2, I think that could be a lot of fun. Definitely hook up your controllers and go for it. Um, I remember having a lot of fun, especially with Combat 2, the way that's laid out with the the terrain and being able to make your own maps. I think that's a really cool idea. I don't know if there's probably a limitation on how many trees and bricks you can place, but still it takes multiple hits to go through bricks and multiple hits to kill your guys. I think combat two might actually be the one to play. I mean, the maze is pretty good in combat one. Um, and the invisible tank thing just sounds crazy enough to work. So that should be pretty fun. But anyway, Thank you guys for watching. This has been, well, Combat 1, Combat 2, and Crystal Castles in the Atari Vault. I'm PC Universe, you're PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.